Welcome back, Pro Spartan Gamer here. Had a couple more games on it, and the overwriting feeling is that the demo is a bit slower than 2016. I don't think that's a bad thing. I know a lot of people are enjoying it a lot more. The fact that you've got to really work for space and you've got to, you know, speed, you've got to pass it past people rather than running with R1 spam down, I guess. Take a little bit of getting used to because I think R1 did have a did have a player in 2016, so we're still learning. Okay, so we're going to try another game on top player with condition arrows up. We're going to be France this time, and we're going to play against Germany. Let's see, we want to try a few different things with a few different formations and a few different people. That's what we're looking for here. Um, well, first of all, we're going to bring in MT. He was one of our golden balls. In, well, still is one of our golden balls in 2000, and um, did like Sissoko. We'll go in with Kante, Matu, TD, Pogba in the middle, or oh, just on the right, it's got him there. Griezmann cutting in, and uh, did he, um, Dimitri Payet up top, looking for perhaps a long ball as well over the top to get some knock ons from Olivier Giroud. He's as slow as a donkey out there, don't forget. So, certainly going to not be able to get him in behind too much. Um, dun 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 dun. What else are we looking for? Support settings, short passes, advanced instructions, hug the touchline. Who's that hugging the touchline? Um, ring rotation, tiki taka, no, false nine. No, we might have gone for false nine if we'd ended up taking Giroud off and playing um, Griezmann at the top to so the hugging the touchline. I don't want that attacking fullbacks. I would have been more happy for. So that's down on the D pad when we start playing. So see if we can get that end of. Do we want to change France's kit? No, because it's absolute horrible. What is that kit? That really does look like something they've just got from the charity shop. Appalling. Anyway, let's go then. See what we get or how we get on with this one. That's why we're going to be doing a series of games like this, just talking through it, seeing what bits we can do. Hopefully, we can get a goal in this one. Played a couple games as Arsenal and scored a goal with Danny Welbeck. Would you know? That's. I do love this. I think that's fantastic. Barcelona, the city in the background, and everything else. That would be really cool. If they've done that for all the stadiums, even the made-up stadiums. Make you know make up the background. Look at Jerome Boateng. Looks okay there, doesn't he? Where's Pogba? So New Camp's going to be host for all of these games on the demo. Really, We're not, why would we go to the other stadium? Not really when you've got this thing of beauty. Like I said, a lot more cinematic. The off sort of screen like these. You, there's, there's air of it. Something different about the camera angle and everything else. And Remember Ozil's eyes, I mean if you were in 3D, those eyes would be looking at you straight in the face. It would be quite scary, I think. His eyes would come right out of the screen and touch you on the end of the nose. Bullfrog. So there's Germany. Matt Hummels, Hummels, Manuel Neuer. Very blue-eyed boy, look at him. Hitler would have loved him. They would have loved him, the blue-eyed, blonde-haired lad. He would have been alright, he wouldn't have ended up getting slayed. So there it is, there's the stadium. Looking at the bit. And here is our French team. We've got Olivier Giroud, Dimitri Payet. Faces look fantastic if you haven't seen him before. Griezmann's got his little Hitler thing with 2D. And there's Pogba. Obviously his hair's different from that now. It's going to be one to keep up with on the weekly updates for the Pez boys, no doubt. They'll be looking at his hair and changing it all the time. Koscielny looks decent. Lorez looks decent. Looks like he's had Botox in his cheekbones, but apart from that, he don't look too bad. Let's crack on with the action then. Let's crack on with the action and see what we can come up with. I really want these full backs to push on today. Gone pushing on already. Bakary Sanya. Let's knock it about then. Let's get a feel for this game a bit more than we did perhaps in the first one. You can knock it about, you can feel it home knocking it about. Give and go there. But one thing I have noticed is AI is so good at intercepting. A lot better at intercepting this year. 
they don't let the pass just drift by them like two yards away or anything like that so much better at it Pogba nice Olivier Giroud can't find Griezmann there you are that may well have got through previous incarnations of Pez sometimes you look at the replay and it like went through their legs or two strides away from them or something it was absolutely ridiculous I don't know what that noise is the laptop made a funny noise apologies for that can we get to root come short again nice one two there but they're hot on the hills Germany obviously a good side Matidi oh certainly some venom in that shot a little bit of a vibration on the rabid rabbit is there's a collision between Giroud and Manuel Neuer. The old vibrator was out on the stick. I don't know if Giroud was trying to get a bit fruity with Neuer as he bent over. Hope not, we don't want none of that. Chance. Oh, buried. Is that M Thomas Muller? Don't applaud it yet. Yeah, Thomas Muller absolutely drove it into the corner. Lloris didn't even move. He dived, it was an afterthought, I think. And we've seen goals, but at the wrong end. Thomas Muller, let's just have a look at it. See, the other thing you've noticed, replay control. You can go, little click on the X and you can go straight into the replay. Nets are a quite, doesn't sag into the nets quite as much as it did as well. It's a bit of a, quite a, firm net when you whack it in I don't know if you've got a choice of firm nets and everything else it's got to be a free kick Griezmann oh Neuer with the fist Scorchio oh. Patrice Ever I think with Scorchio boots why can't we have one of them go in flying to the top net and that's an absolutely bands eye here shirt above the head and run around the, the cul-de-sac here make a load of 90 year olds days or not as the case may be right let's look for the head of Olivier Giroud see if you can get on the end of this one big article flick on no Hummel's over the top of him weak from Giroud Kante definitely a menace Germany are running rings around us here Tracks are trying the tricks. Pogba. Good from Pogba. Griezmann. Oh, I can't get it away. Man was free at the top. Poye. Obviously, on this demo, it's all like sort of getting used to different formations as well. Not the way we would necessarily play with these players, but they are. A lot more fair, the refs as well. Fouls being picked up, that's a big improvement from last year. You could go right through the back of someone, balls and all, and nothing was even muttered really. It almost became a bit of a of a cheat, if you like, the, the way you could um, tackle on last year's game. Don't look so surprised, you dirty bastard. You went straight through him. Let's have a look at it. Straight through the back of Dimitri Payet. One actually, just ran over him. Went down like a sack of shit, Dimitri. Game, we're going to test the prize of Olivier Giroud. Knock it in the back. Griezmann trying to knock it in on the back stick. Don't know why he's got his head in his hands like that. Wasn't like a given, was it? Poirier just looking to hang it in there. Neuer might come from this. Oh! Good effort. Is that, who was that? Not ever again getting all the glory, is it? Let's have a look. It was <clears throat> Patrice Every Done well that time. That was a nice shot. Just got the dip. Neuer was worried. A lot better game than the first one we had. This one already. There's been a lot more action after 30 minutes here. 
it's getting used to it. Obviously, the more we play, I think we've only played about four games so far, so it's still really early. As with every pairs, especially when you start playing Master Leagues and stuff, you know, it can take you a good half a dozen, ten games, especially with those default players that are beginning to get anywhere near the rhythm and even sometimes score a couple goals in a game can take you for, for absolute ever. Come on, Giroud, you've got to offer more up top, you lazy dog. Oh, that's late right in the back. That will be a card. Pob Bohoval is not red. It's only a yellow. Once again, we got some nice cinematics. The bullfrog, oh, it was late. Dumped the eyes into the turf. Mehmet Ozil would look quite good on No Man's Sky. If, if Sean Murray could have just whacked him into one of those space centres, he wouldn't have looked any different from some of those like frog things with the eyes on the stalks that were in that, I swear. Look at them. Pack around. Get it out. Oh. Trying to get hold of this ballon de cleft. Didier Deschamps having absolute kittens on the sidelines at his French team. Giving it away cheap. Once again we look for the big head of Olivier Giroud. He's won one. But he hasn't got anything on it. Evra. Probably been the pick of the French players to be honest. You haven't been able to get Griezmann involved. Easy. What's that? Absolute shambles. Drax with all the... Oh, can't get it away. Gonna have to go route one a bit more here, I think. Get it back to front. Draxler with all the skills. Well, out this time. Half time. 1 0 that Thomas Muller goal. We're struggling to get a foothold in this game. We really are. Now, Golo Kante looking okay. We had a, that one effort. Let's have a look. We're going to do them. We are going to make a change here. We are getting rid of Olivier Giroud. He's gone. He's crashed and burnt. He really has. And we are going to bring on Musa Sissoko. Now we've got to work out in a change of formation here. We're having trouble with this. Changing the formation. Need to find out how these formations work a little bit more. Someone could put it in the bottom. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Where is the actual formation button so you can actually change your formation? What am I doing wrong? Am I being an absolute blonde dragoon and just missing something that's very obvious? Probably. Wouldn't be the first time and probably without a doubt isn't going to be the last time. Good play from a 2D. That's a lot better. Oh, great tackling back, but good play from the French. Straight away, the false number nine. With Griezmann up top, offering us something different that Giroud just couldn't. I think Giroud obviously would be decent up top, but probably not against Jerome Boateng and Matt Hommels. He's probably met his match. He's not going to win you the flick-ons against them. And we're... Shocking at defending here. Good save. It's going to come straight out. Good play. Needed a beam. Giving it away again though. But Matudi. Can't just buy ourselves a yard at the moment. Make a bit of space. Something we've got to learn. It's learning to be done on this game. Which is good. It's what you want. You don't want a Pez where you pick up. And there's no change from last year. And you're already flying on Superstar. You want there to be a learning curve. This is what there always should be on PES. It always was in the good old golden days on the on the PS2. There was always that learning curve to get back into it from year to year. You were never golden balls straight off. And we're certainly not golden balls straight off here. Could have been a penalty there. It's a bit of a shove. We are under the cosh here from the Germans. They're looking to kill this game off. Out of it. Good Hugo. Huey. And TEs.
Oh, unlucky. Playing very much on the counter area at the moment. The French have not been able to. They're in behind again. Good defending. Oh! Shit the bed! What a strike that is! Kadira of an absolute Scorchio from his right rocket fuel with a shot. Hugo Lloris didn't have an open L. In off the beans on toast. What a strike. Wow. Wouldn't have seen that in last year's game. Really didn't see enough long shots in the AI. They almost had to walk it into the nets at times. And that is, you know, only on top player here. Yeah? Watch this. What a strike. Did Hugo get a hand on it? We'll have to have a look. Another camera angle in a minute will show us this, but did he get a hand on it? He did, but it had some beans on it. It had some benditure as well. Fine goal, Sammy Kadira. Fitting to win the game. Got a work cut out here against the Germans. They're on fire. We are not. We are trying to rush a little bit, I think. In possession, and we're losing the ball. Actually, we're pretty shit, to be honest. Let's not p pick any bones about it. We really are struggling here against a very, very good side. Maybe the best side on it, I suppose. Kadir again. Good save this time. Kadir has turned into a goal scoring machine. Come short, come short. Oh, don't run away from me when I got the ball there, man. And I'm Pogba. Gotta to look to get through it. We haven't got the players now to go long. Yes, our first goal, and it's Griezmann. Who else? Lovely finish. Good slotted ball from Muso Sissoko, and that was a nice ball to get back. And Griezmann's given us hope where we didn't deserve any. Nice goal in the end. Good build-up play. Nice ball around the corner there. Lovely slotted ball, good run in between it, and he added it first time, you don't get time, you know the defenders are coming and they're sliding in quick. That's one thing we've learned already, that you don't get time. Look at them, synchronised diving. They might have even won a bronze in Rio for that. There's Griezmann, he lets one rip as he runs out of the penalty area, have a sniff on that one boys. Waves the French onion fart in their face, bit of garlic on the side no doubt. Griezmann with a port Danish porn star moustache makes it 2-1. There's 15 minutes. Can we set up a grandstand here? Or the Germans just going to dent us just as we start to fly? And the break's on again. And now we're starting to feel the force here. Pobbo, we just can't get past him with a burst of R2-1. And on comes Lukas Podolski. We're not going to make too many changes. We're going to stick with what we've got here. Just starting to believe a little bit more the French. Certainly playing some counter-attacking football now. And here we go again. Griezmann getting frustrated there. Just can't make a yard. He has done this time! Oh, and Griezmann was nearly in, and some lovely play from the French. One touch, tiki taka. The Tweedy. Gonna have to fight back here. Shout from the sidelines from Didier Deschamps. Work, work, work. You heard it. As they break, we don't want the Germans to break away and put an end to this. We just had a head of steam there for a couple minutes. There's only four minutes to go. Can we get another break? The break's on. Lovely break again. Pogba. Ah, oh, referee! Take him! Send the red card, surely! 
Ah, oh, Jerome Boateng, you got away with one there, you dirty bastard. Really was an awful tackle on Suzuka. Good touch, beat his man. Look at that, real clumsy from Jerome. And we were in on goal. And Payet, the maestro. Can he make something happen? This would be fantastic here, if we could. Dimitri Poyat, can he get it to sit? Oh, he can! What a goal from Dimitri Poyat! That is absolutely marvellous! What a free kick! We're getting behind that one. That is one of the goals of the century on PES 2007 in the demo. And it's Dimitri Poyat with a beautiful curling free kick and added on time to get the French a point. We need to see this. We need to see this. What a free kick. Our first attempt at a free kick on Pez 2017. And look at that. Look at the bend on that bad boy. That is quite sublime from Dimitri. That is one of the goals you're ever going to see. Let's have another look at it, please. We want another look at it. What a goal from Dimitri Poyet. We're saving that one. Glad we're recording. That's one of those moments that you absolutely love. And what a game this has turned into. Get back there. And TT, big balls he is. Punts upfield. Oh, the French believe they could have got something here. Time running out. What a second half from them. Germans in behind. Don't let them ruin the party. There it is, what a game of football, capped off with two magical goals. No better than Dimitri Poyet's free kick, that was something of sheer beauty. That'll be being posted as a separate video, that goal, you can bet your bottom dollar on that. What a free kick from Dimitri Poyet. We'll wait, we'll just fast forward that highlight. We don't want to see Thomas Muller's, we don't want to see the yellow card from... Pop Bobby Yellow as well there. Didn't realise there was that many goals in it, for God's sake. Griezmann's goal. That was nasty, but it didn't cause any problems because Dimitri Poyet, here he is. Look at that for a bad boy. Look at the bend on it. Right in the top noggins. Fan fucking tastic. Pardon me, French. What a game. Good game of football. More like that continue, then we'll be very, very good indeed. See you very soon, dudes. Dimitri Poyat with a wonder strike. Delighting up any Pez demo. But this one is very special. Cheers, dudes. Stay safe. Just wanna tell you.